Raise the cup, seek answers on high, who defies death beneath the sky? Oh, I missed that my mission. Go find something to sober me up. Two more jars from Windless, make it quick. Two more jars from Windless, make it quick. My belly's growling. <laughs> I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. The Temple of Crouching Tiger, they say there's meat there. Worth a look. The feast first, then the toil. Hunger brings no spoils. Ugh. You should eat more, skinny. Off we go to the Temple of Crouching Tiger. This putrid rat meat is insufferable. Help me score a tasty treat for you. Help me score a tasty treat for you. It drives me mad. I've been craving a taste of that juicy jade lotus. Can you find me some in this barren land? Oh, I wouldn't mind some meatless meals from time to time. Hmm, I have stumbled upon some interesting leads. The realm of gold does hold a connection to this desolate land. I hear the realm of gold is where the sun sets. There, they held rats above all others. Hmm, and somehow, before we knew it, the realm was gone. Quite odd, that is. Hmm. I just tried those rackwise. They taste like men flesh. Hmm. Its people are not yet extinct. I suspect the yellow wind guai had a role in their downfall. Our senior brother gave me a piece of gold. I'll need it here when the time's right, he said. Hmm. It's the right time now. I'm taking it to the right place to give it a try. Hmm. I just tried those rackwise. Men in our time do not see the ancient moon, but this moon hath shone on men of yore. Behold, be it the realm of sunset or the realm of gold, it's but an echo of the past. Legends speak of an ancient, colossal beetle in these sands. Whilst deep in slumber, it lay hidden beneath the earth's embrace. When awakened, it would devour all souls across its path. Its shell, harder than stone, defied the strikes of common arms. It struck fear into traveling merchants and wider to neighboring realms. But a yellow-furred rat sensed the immense power emanating from the insect. He halted the beetle's havoc and harnessed it for his own ends. Overjoyed, the king named the rat Gwai, the royal sage, and built a shrine in his honor. The bound beetle was a perfect source of power, so the rat stayed. He seized the tongue monk using the new power, and battles with soon Wukong upon the yellow wind ridge. The Gwai's formidable winds failed the vast expanse of the sky. Were it not for Bodhisattva Linji, tongue monk's quest for the scriptures would have failed. Yet, stripped of the rat's protection, the kingdom was plunged into a state of ruin. The once lush yellow wind ridge now lies a desolate wasteland. <laughs> 